Yes. You can't guard me. I can't guard you, bro. I used to put you on the straps. Yeah, right. <laughs> Feel good right now. Time to go to work, baby. Deontay's yeah, a special receiver. The way he's playing out on the field, setting an example and setting a standard for everybody else. He's blessed with athleticism. He has tremendous speed. When you got a guy like that, you just put it out up there, and it seems like if I overthrow him, you know, I'll kind of put my head down and then, you know, look up, and he's running right underneath. Throws it up deep right for Carruth. He's got it. Touchdown, Rutgers. Play up to Carruth on the score. 33 yards. Here we go. Here we go. We're putting great days of practice together. You know, each and every week, just practicing harder, you know, being the best guy on the practice field. Also, my wide receiver coach has done a great job helping me understand defenses and playing with great technique out there. Gets away. Now throws into coverage and is caught by his old buddy, Leonte Carew. It does help that my quarterback now is the same one I had in high school. I've been throwing to Leonte since I was, I think, 14 and he was 13. So probably about six, seven years now. The chemistry we have, we've built for a long time. He's one of my best friends. On the field, we trust each other 100%. Me and Gary have a, a great bond, and we have a chemistry on the field that I don't think a, a lot of quarterbacks and receivers have. For example, to play versus Nebraska, he was kind of scrambling, and I knew that he was eventually going to find me open in the space. And Nova's pass is caught. kind of give him eye, eye contact, and he gives me that same eye contact, and I just know that he's throwing to me. Peru comes through again. Give him an opportunity, and look what he does. I said to my mom, I would love to go to a school like Don Bosco Prep, and she kind of laughed like, I don't even know what Don Bosco Prep is. He said, Mom, you got to get me into the school. We did everything we needed to do up until that point, and then when the acceptance letter came, we were like, okay, now what? Me and my mom, we're from Edison, New Jersey. For those who don't know how far Edison is, the Don Bosco Prep, pretty much an hour and 10 minutes. Every day, me and my mom would wake up at 5.30 in the morning. She would drive me, pretty much spending $50 on gas alone, trying to get me up there. And we were doing that every day in rush hour traffic and then to pick them up, we're hitting the rush hour traffic in the evening, so it was pretty tough. My mom had a talk with me saying, I want to make your dreams come true, but you know, right now it's hard on our family. And uh, she, she was just saying, you know, I, I, gotta, I gotta do something, but you just can't stay at this school. Then I met the Yankovic family. They have kids themselves that went to Don Bosco Prep. I met his mother, or we met his mother before we met uh, Leonte. She sat down and started telling us their story. We just mentioned to her that we live two miles from the school, happy to help you any way we can. And I said, well, if you're all right, we'll just keep them during the week. The kids were fine with that, and it was very easy. And he started staying. After that, he just was home. That was it. <laughs> he was home for good, so. It was nice. From the moment I walked into their house, they just treated me like I was their son. Taking out the garbage, mowing the lawn, raking the leaves and blowing the leaves, everybody took their turn. He was part of the family, and if the family was doing it, so was he. I'm so thankful to have a family like the Yankovic family. I lived with them all four years. By the end of my time living there, I was like, this is really my mom and dad, you know, because that's the way they treated me when I wasn't around my real mom and dad. It was really tough just letting him go, but we're just following his dreams. He knew what he wanted to do. He has wonderful family. We're just sharing a wonderful young man that came into our lives. 
it's not just the Yankovic family or the Carew family, it's just one whole family.